Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And what you see in front of you here is the Stratomatic All-Star Collector Set, which I bought and uh, actually bought two of them. And uh, one of them I opened, one of them is still packaged up, and I am thinking very seriously about giving the second one away, the one that's uh, that I haven't opened, maybe do a giveaway on my channel uh, of that one. So I'm going to show you what comes with it, and then we're going to take a look at the uh, cards, since there isn't that many of them. It's just two all-star teams. One from 1933, and then one from 1983. Interestingly, about these games, both games were in uh, Comiskey Park. So, I fully expect the uh, All-Star Game in 10 years to be in Comiskey Park. Because these were 50, 50 years apart, and... Uh, uh, the one in 10 years, yes, the one in 10 years will be 50 years after the 1983 game. So um, I'm going to show you what you get. Uh, first of all, it comes in a box like this right here. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, number 90. This one was number 96 of 600. And then there's the inside of the box. Very uninteresting since I took everything out of it. Um You've got your, your two sets of teams. You've got your American League 1983 All-Stars right here. And you've got your 1933 American League All-Stars right here. Got your 1983 National League All-Stars right here. And 1933 National League All-Stars right here. It also comes with two, uh, two cards. One card uh, looks like it's the box score from the games. And uh, I'll just let you take a kind of a look at that for a moment. And then we will flip it over so you can take a look at the uh, other one, the other game, and the box score for the other game. And then there's another card that uh, shows the starting lineups, the uh, reserves, and the pitching staff for... Um, for both and then we'll flip it over and let you take a quick look at the 1933 of course obviously the 1933 uh, team was smaller than the 1983 team so we will uh, so now we're going to take a look at the cards for each um, uh, each National League team and each American League team. All right, so let's take a look. We'll take a look first at the 1983 American League team. Rick Honeycutt, there's his card. I'm going to go through these kind of fast. If there's somebody you want to stop and look at, you can stop the video. Got Matt Young on the team. And also, I am just showing these in no particular order. They're in the order that they were in uh, when I got the cards. Here's Ricky, Tricky Ricky Henderson. Uh, Gary Ward. The Quiz, Dan Quisenberry. Willie Wilson. George Brett, Ron Kittle, loved Ron Kittle, man, Reggie, Reginald Jackson, Bob Boone, the catcher, Fred Lynn, again, these aren't the lineups, these are just, uh, just the order that I, that they're in as I open them, Doug DeSensei, Rod Carew, Dave Steed, yeah, he was good. Ron Guidry, of course, <laughs> I 
All these guys were good. Dave Winfield. Ben Ogilvy. Cecil Koopa. Now, the good thing, it appears that they are together by team. So, like, um, you know, like you can see Cecil Cooper, Ben Ogilvy, and Simmons were all on the Brewers, and they're all right in a row. And Robin Yell. And then you got Aurelio Lopez and Lance Parrish. Again, they were on the same team. Lou Whitaker. So this is a good, I guess this is a good way to have them in the, uh, a good order to have them in. Rick Sutcliffe, Manny Trio, Bob Stanley, Carl Yastrzemski, Jim Rice, Tippy Martinez, Eddie Murray, Cal Ripken Jr., and then back to Honeycutt. So we will now take a look at the um, 1933 American League All-Stars. You got General Crowder. I love the nicknames back then. Joe Cronin, the old Cronin. Sam West, I can attest to the fact those two guys were on Washington because I have a 1930 Washington season going on right now. Lefty Grove, Jimmy Fox, Jimmy Double X Fox, Lefty Gomez, Tony Lazari, Babe Ruth, there you go, two Yankees, Ben Chapman, another Yankee, I think, Bill Dickey, yes, another Yankee. Lou, sweet Lou Gehrig, and then Charlie Garinger from Detroit, Wes Farrell, Oral Hill, Hildebrand, never heard of that guy, Earl Averill, Jimmy Dykes, Al Simmons, and then back to, I believe, Rick Farrell, no, yes, and then General Crowder. Rick Farrell, I, I don't know if I did him first or not, but. Yeah, we're going back through again. So now we'll go to the uh, 1983 National League All-Stars. Got Gary Lavelle of the Giants. And, of course, Atley Hamaker of the Giants. This was, uh, wasn't this the year Atley Hamaker, like, started for the uh, National League and he got torched? Uh, Daryl Evans... For the and I could look at the box score, but I haven't really looked at it yet. I'm doing the video pretty quickly. Daryl Evans, Dave Dravecki, Terry Kennedy, Fernando Valenzuela, Steve Sachs, Pedro Guerrero, Bill Dolly, Dicky Thon. Mario Soto, I'm trying to get my thumb out of the way here as much as I can, but Johnny Bench, Pasquale Perez, Glenn Mother Hubbard, Bruce Benedict, Dale Murphy. Now, Dale Murphy, I understand, but Bruce Benedict and Glenn Hubbard, Ozzy Smith. Willie McGee, George Hendrick, Bill Madlock, Mike Schmidt, Jesse Orosco, Steve Rogers, he was awesome. Gary Carter, of course, Gary Carter was too. <laughs> Tim Raines, again, these are all stars. Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Al Oliver, Lee Smith, Leon Durham, and then back to Gary Lavelle. And finally, we will do the National League. We'll take a look at the National League All-Stars. Bill Hallahan, Jimmy Wilson, Frankie Frisch, Pepper Martin, Pie Trainer, Paul Wayner, Dick Bartell, Chucky Klein, 
Hal Schumacher, Carl Hubble. Was and then this was a year maybe that uh, was this year Carl Hubble struck out like seven All Stars in a row. Lefty O'Doul, Bill Terry, Chick Hafey, Lou Warnicky, Woody English, Gabby Hartnett, Tony Cuccinello, Wally Berger, and then back to Bill Hallahan. Yeah, back to Bill, Bill Hallahan. So there you go. There's your teams. Um, the cards are not quite as good a quality as I was expecting. Not quite. I mean, I was expecting them to be a little more robust than this, but, uh, you know, I'll live with it. Uh, so there you go. There's your teams. As I said, um, I do plan to do a video in the future where I will announce... First, I'm going to have a video that where I will announce the uh, contest for the giveaway of the other set that I haven't opened so that it will maintain its value. And um, that will um, that'll, that'll lay out the rules and what you should be looking for uh, in order to be eligible to get um, to have me send that to you. And uh, I also plan to do some games. Uh, I think how I'm going to do it is I'm going to have the two American League teams play each other, and then I'm going to have the two National League teams play each other. I'll figure out, you know, I'll let you know the particulars as each game is being played, and then uh, the winners of those two games will play uh, against each other. So it could be the... Um, you know, it could be the uh, it could be the 1933 All Star Game again, or the 1983 All Star Game again, or a 1983 team playing a 1933 team. You don't know. We'll see. Um, and uh, I plan to use the starting lineups, the start well, the starting players. I plan to use the starting players and or lineups. Um, and then um, I will get people into the game as I can, but I'm not going to necessarily try to hold myself to getting them, everybody, into the game this, you know, the same amount of time and what have you. But again, we will go into that a little further uh, when the time comes. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off for right now.